Jesse Sundlove, 66th Street, Tulsa. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, my wife and I just moved here less than a year ago, and I'd like to say that the people we've met in Wabatosa have been some of the friendliest, kindest people. Water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> so much for friendly. Let me say, I, I agree with you. They are very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> now, having said that, um, I'm not from Wauwatosa, officially. So, the New England Journal of Medicine, a couple years ago, released a study that analyzed the correlation between losing health insurance and mortality rates. And extrapolating from that information, um, it's been stated that up between 25,000 and 40,000 people a year are going to die from the bill that you voted for. I wanted to know if you feel like you have blood on your hands. No, I don't. Uh, but I okay, before I count them now. Uh, well, you know what? What I what I can say is that Obamacare is on a death spiral. Uh, there are companies that are pulling out of the exchanges. The premiums are going up. And as the exchanges collapse, there will be more and more people who will be losing their health care uh, because the exchanges is, have collapsed. Now, Republicans are doing something to try to fix it. This is a very complicated issue. Can I ask you, do you want this meeting to continue or not? Because I said in the beginning of the meeting that I would not go along with any kind of interruptions, either of the speaker or of my responses. You can agree with me or disagree with me, but we do not, in this country, decide issues based upon who can yell the loudest. And we can disagree without being disagreeable. Our country was based on compromise. That's why all the checks and balances were put in the Constitution. It uh, was designed to prevent anybody from being too powerful. But I think that what we need to do here in this country, and it's not just in Tosa or Wisconsin, but all over the country, is to start being a little bit more respectful of opposing views. Uh, because what's going on now is toxic. You know, we have seen people who have gotten so angry by listening to cable TV and looking at the internet that there was an assassination attempt on the Republican baseball team in Alexandria, Virginia three weeks ago. And that is something that cannot be tolerated anywhere in the world in a civilized country. Uh, all you need to do is to look at what the gunman who was killed by police had put up on his Facebook post, you know, the fact that, you know, he had been picketing, he had been repeating a lot of things that had gotten him to such a swivet that he went to violence. So the time has come in this country, for the sake of our children and grandchildren, that we cool it. Donald Trump is the President of the United States for the next three and a half years. Uh, I think that, well, uh, whether you voted for him or didn't, he's the President of the United States for the next three and a half years. And what we do when we disagree with public officials is wait for the next election. Uh, and I would encourage all of you to do that, whether it's for me next year or for Mr. Trump in 2020. Now, to get back to your, you know, your question, you know, no, I do not have blood on my hands. What I can say is, is that you're seeing people reject Obamacare, you know, by those who are actually paying the fine to the IRS uh, rather than getting health insurance. Uh, the thing is, the Republican bill has guaranteed insurability in it for everybody. That means that regardless of whether or not there is a government mandate, which is being ignored by at least 115,000 people you know, in this state, uh, they will have health insurance available to them. And because of what I said earlier relative to high-risk pools lowering the rate for low- and medium-risk people, I think that the health insurance will be more affordable for everybody. You know, getting back to my Obamacare policy, uh, you know, as a member of Congress, where we're forced by law to go into this, it's $15,000 more or less out of pocket before I'm able to collect the dime in health insurance. 
And again, I admit I can afford it, but I don't think many people can afford that kind of a policy, and that's why this has got to be fixed. <laughs>